Hi, air signs. Welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your February 2019th bonus reading. This will be a general bonus reading, insight to your secret message. So if you did not resonate with your signs individual reading this month, maybe this will resonate more with some of you, or it could just be an extra message for some of you. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe, then hit the little bell to be notified when I post new readings. Like the videos, it's the only way that YouTube will circulate them around is if they are liked. So thank you so much for that. Comment, share, 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 share. Be greatly appreciated. Um, you can check the description box below for the decks I'm using, more information about me. My email is there for personal readings. You can contact me to work out what kind of reading you would like. I generally do about $30 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, any kind of general love reading, anything like that. Or you can visit my Etsy page. The link is below. And I have a variety of readings listed there. My PayPal link is listed below if you wish to tip or donate exchange of energy to do these free readings for you. It would be really greatly appreciated. No amount is too small to keep these free readings going for you as it does take a lot of time and energy on my part. But it's something I truly love to do so much for you guys to give you insight and clarity and guidance that you might need. So thank you so much for that. You just hit the link, takes you to my PayPal pay, my PayPal page where you just type in amount. And then um, I think you can leave a note and then you just send it. So that'd be greatly appreciated. Please keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with every single person as it is a general collective reading. So take what resonates and throw away what doesn't. And we may pick up energies of past, present or future. So please keep that in mind. If you do not resonate with this, you can watch other readings on signs in your chart for your moon, rising, Jupiter, and Venus sign. Um, you can browse through my playlist. All my videos are timeless. There may be a date on them, but if you feel drawn to a video, I say watch it and just disregard the time or the date on it. I feel if you're meant to see a reading, you're meant to see it no matter if it's dated or not. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support, your like, your shares, all my clients who purchase personal readings. Thank you so much. So it's greatly appreciated. So we're going to get started here for you guys for the air signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for their bonus reading. Which, uh, February 2019, their bonus general reading. What else do they need to know for February 2019? Now, whatever energy we get here, if you're not dealing with the sign or energy, whatever we get, that's totally fine. Then just leave that part out and throw it out and just disregard it. And if we do pull a sign or... An element that might be a specific message for certain individuals who are an air sign dealing with that particular sign or energy so spirit please can we have one card for the signs of Gemini Libra and Aquarius what are they dealing with for the rest of February 2019 for the bonus general reading insight to this secret message what are they dealing with what planet energy? Are they dealing with another element? Are they dealing with another sign? Spirit, please, can we have one card for the ear signs? Okay, this one wanted to show itself to me. I'm going to take the top one. So we have the moon, and this represents Pisces or Cancer. So some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. And the moon is about intuition, knowing, cycles. As the moon goes through cycles every month, goes from a new moon to a full moon. Um, can also be about um, some in the tarot. It means it could be some secrets, not knowing all the facts, not seeing things clearly. But in this deck, since this is a Zodiac deck, 
The moon shows us the regular regularity of cycles and teaches us about the importance of change as it moves through its cycles each month. It governs emotions, instincts, and intuition as well as memory and imagination. Issues around maternal figures, traditions, and adaptability can also be represented by the moon card. So we'll see there for you guys how that plays in. So this is the uh, Crystal Angel Oracle Cards by Dream Virtue. So we're going to get one message for you guys for the rest of February 2019. What do the air signs need to know, Spirit, please, for the rest of February 2019? For their bonus reading, their bonus general reading, please. For the general collective of air signs watching my channel, Spirit, please. What oracle insight do they need to know? What is their message? There we go. Calcite. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess, honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. So that can just mean a few things. That can mean you are very, very busy and you need time to take a rest, take a break, take care of yourself. Don't spread yourself too thin. You know, schedule your time, schedule yourself to spread yourself evenly and but not too thinly among your responsibilities it also can mean are you um being busy on purpose to avoid something being busy and multitasking can also mean doing these things to avoid dealing with something else whether it's emotions or people places or things so we'll see how that plays out for you guys. And this is the Chrysalis Tarot, which I just love the back of these. It's so pretty. So we'll get about eight tarot cards to clarify what you guys are going through, what you need to know, what's your situation, what do you need insight and clarity to, what messages do you need to hear from spirit? Okay, spirit, let's give the air signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius some clarity on this busy times and multitasking and this moon energy. What do they need to know? What do we need to clarify? We have some cards to clarify for the air signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Their bonus message here for February 2019 for the General Collective watching my channel. We got six of spirals. Now this deck is a little different. The terminology is just a little bit different. So the six of spirals. Let me think for a minute because I haven't used this deck in a while. So, and I'm very tired. So it's either wands or swords. And I think it's wands. The Six of Spirals. Yes, it's Wands. Sorry, I just had to. Okay, so the Six of Spirals is the Six of Wands. This is fire energy. Um, Leo, Sag, or Aries. But it doesn't have to be. It can just be an energy. As you see, the moon is there again. Here's the moon. So the Six of Spirals speaks of victory and success. You've done... The things you you need to do here you've done your laundry you've hung it out <laughs> and you've completed tasks that you needed to complete and complete and now you have success and victory completion of something as the moon talks about cycles and completing cycles and you have the moon in this card here so that spirit clarifying that maybe you are going through a cycle right now or something maybe you're trying to avoid a new cycle and that's why you're staying busy are you constantly doing laundry i don't know 
Okay, let's see here. So now we have the Fool. So this is Aquarius energy. So this could be a message for Aquarius. And this is taking a leap of faith. This is um, heading out on a new journey. Journey. It's a new start. It's leaving past baggage behind and just moving on without it. Just stepping right in, stepping right out. You don't care where you're going, what you're doing. You're just taking, taking that leap of faith and just trusting that everything will be fine. Okay, so let's get some more clarity here. So you do have success in a new cycle, a new start. Three of mirrors. This is the three of cups, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this talks about um, compassion, as you see the lion and the lamb, showing compassion, love. And the three of mirrors talks about um, reconciling, meeting up with friends and family, joyous, happy times, uh, celebrations, showing compassion and love and nurturing. Hmm, okay, so let's see what else we have here for the air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Can we have more cards, please? Spirit to clarify their situation for the air signs of Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Please, Spirit, clarify their. How many do we have? Three. Okay, I take up to three. So let's see now. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So look, we have here two major arcanas. Arcanas. Wheel of Fortune talks about a turn of fate, turn of destiny, um, the Wheel of Karma, the Wheel of Justice, having better luck, turning things in your favor, having a new start by turning this wheel into by moving ahead and moving on from something, you're turning the wheel of fate and destiny into your favor. And usually if you retreat back to your old ways or return to something that is not meant for you and you know that, you turn this backwards into a karma wheel, which is really not a good place to be in. That's how I look at it. So um, two cards here of new start of fate, Better luck, divine timing, reuniting, victory. Let's see what else do we have here? The Pilgrim, page of scrolls. So this is the page of swords. And you see she's like heading out onto a pilgrimage. Wow, just like the fool here usually heads out into a new start and he just takes what's on his back doesn't take anything else he leaves all the other baggage behind and here you are setting out on that new journey the pilgrim here with the page of scrolls and that's the air sign gemini libra aquarius and the page of scrolls page of swords usually is doing research could be going on the internet looking at people places and things um can be communication truths and clarity but this deck is a little different um so i just feel like by looking at the visual here that you have the fool here with the hero heading out on this new journey into a better luck into a turn of fate divine timing nine of stones wow so now we have the nine of pentacles and here you are heading out again on into a new journey Wow. Nine of Stones, that's the Nine of Pentacles, which is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And the Nine of Stones, maybe you're single, um, you've done your hard work, you've placed all your, all your stones, all your hard work, all your um, monetary assets, or could represent like your bank account, you have all your assets, all your money in your bank, you're doing good, so you can leave it there, nest it, and let it grow, and move on to something else. A 
as your assets flourish. Seven of Mirrors. So this is the Seven of Cups, Water, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Again, with the Moon Energy, Cancer, or Pisces. So this talks about, you see, she's been sitting in this room a very long time. She's been working here. There's cracks in the mirrors. She's keeping herself busy. Busy times and multitasking to avoid having to make a choice. Because cups are about love and emotions. And the seven of cups in the usual tarot talks about having many options and having to choose an option, but you're very confused, conflicted. You don't know what option to choose. So you see here, she's keeping busy to avoid having to make a choice. And you have busy times and multitasking. Wow. Spirit confirming that. So... I see a new start here, a turn of fate that you'll be victorious in, setting out on the journey, but yet you're holding back and you're not making that decision to move forward. You have a little bit of confusion, maybe fear, keeping yourself busy to avoid making this decision, to, setting, to set forth on that journey or whatever decision it is you need to make. And you look here, too, with the Six of Spirals, all these flags blowing in the wind. And over here, all these mirrors. It's like choices. Okay, so now we have the Five of Scrolls. And this is the Five of Swords. So this talks about, this is ego, and this could be the fear in your mind, the fear and the worry in your mind. Um, very ego-driven card, winning at all costs, defeat at all costs, getting ahead at all costs, or just a very ego-driven card. So, I don't know, I feel like I need to clarify the Five of Scrolls, the Five of Swords. Why is that fear? Why is ego and defeat at all costs here? Queen of Stones. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This is someone that does their hard work, who's, who has um, built themselves, who is sturdy, who is reliable, who is stable, who... Uh, has the monetary needs they need, the material things they need. <sighs> so, I don't, maybe you have a fear of this decision, this new opportunity that would be more stable and secure for you. I need one more card. Let's see if we can make sense of this. What are they afraid of? Why are they being busy? Ravens, the magician. Right, you're afraid of manifesting something. You are afraid of this new stability, this new maybe wealth and prosperity and growth and expansion. This is the manifest manifestation card with the magician. So you have a fear of this action, something that you're, you're afraid of, something that you've been wanting, that you've been wishing for, that you want to come to you, that you want to set out on, of it actually coming to you and manifesting. For some reason, you're afraid of this wheel of fate, this destiny. Will you stay or will you walk away from it? Will you make the decision to stay or walk away? Walk towards it or walk away from it? Do you want the victory? Do you want to take the leap of faith? Do you want compassion, celebrations, reuniting, love, turn of fate, divine timing? 
or are you going to be trapped in your mind here with the five of scrolls it's like kind of an ego driven card like you'd rather stay in your room here and not deal with anything but this like an inner desire for it but then there's also fear of it because you have walking towards something but then walking away from something so very conflicting energies very conflicted mind okay so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck and that's could be why you're staying busy you're afraid of this new cycle this change five of spirals again conflict five of wands aries leo or sag and this is conflict can be mental conflict conflict with other people so definitely having this inner conflict here of should i go should i stay should i go should i stay should i move forward will this manifest but if it manifests can i accept it or will i walk away from it very conflicting mind energy here two fives which is about change and the moon is about changes so you're keeping busy and multitasking and not being honest with yourself to avoid this change to avoid something here that could be manifesting for you but you're afraid of it Let's see page of stones so this is a message an offer pentacles the page of pentacles oops um earth virgo taurus capricorn uh, this could be an offer coming in. It could be a job. It could be money. It could be something, any kind of message. But it's stable. It's grounded. It's secure. You should have faith in it. But you have fear here with the two fives. Fear and inner conflict. King of mirrors. So that is the king of cups. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So it could be a person of interest. Or it could be something else, somebody coming in with this message here. And it could be about your home. Um, or it could be anything about your home, career, a person of interest. But you have divine timing here. You have success and victory here. So I don't think you should fear it. Though you do have this inner conflict and fear. You know, I see, I see stability, I see growth, expansion, grounding energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you guys for extra guidance. Unkinite, oh, you, you, unikite, unikite. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, answered prayers all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support and didn't I just say this is the wheel divine timing wheel answered prayers so you have been manifesting praying and wishing for hoping and hoping for something but yet you have this fear and conflict over it actually manifesting into reality should I accept it and walk towards that and embrace it and set out on this new journey or will I turn my back on it will I stay hidden and not make the decision or will I embrace this turn of fate destiny have stability growth and expansion But it's telling me here to, it will be answered prayers. It will be a new cycle. So I see it, see it, I see it as a positive thing for you, but you have to get over ego, fear, conflict, inner conflict. Okay, air signs. That was your bonus reading for February, 2019. Insight to your secret message. I hope it resonated in some way. However, the situation is for you if it resonates in any situation you're in whether it's a relationship whether it's uh, material monetary career home what whatever it is for you um 
You take it how it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Then it's probably not for you. So thank you stop for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you like how I read, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Hit the bell for notifications. So good luck to you. Best of luck to you and whatever this is for you. And I hope you embrace it and you don't turn your back on it. Because I see very healing light here. You have like the rainbow. Yellow is like the color of the sun. It's very warm. It, there's growth, expansion, success, victory. So keep your options open. Keep an open mind. Hopefully overcome this uh, conflicting ego and fear and inner conflict. So best of luck to you in whatever you do here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And see all the light in this card. Don't forget to shine your light.